King of Sports. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Welcome everyone to New Japan Strong. Ian Riccoboni, Matt Raywald here. It is week three of the Strong Style Evolved Tour. And what a night of action we have in front of you here tonight. We have a New Japan Strong debut of a man that, that you've, you've run the roads with. That's right, Big Damo makes his presence felt in New Japan Pro Wrestling, first time ever. I know exactly the impact this guy can play, but he's got a hell of a challenge with the wrestling journeyman, John Schuyler, tonight. You know, John Schuyler's really impressed me in the X Division over in Impact, and I know him from my days in Ring of Honor. Schuyler is a dangerous man looking for an opportunity if I'm Big Damo, I know it's a big night, but John Schuyler could be the ultimate spoiler here on Strong Style Evolved. Coming up in our second bout, we have Blake Christian taking on Swerve. Now, these are two young athletes that were highly coveted coming here to New Japan Strong. Swerve debuted against Jay White. Blake Christian looking for the big win. Something's got to give here. Two athletes who are going to literally tear the house down, whether that house is Swerve's house or right. it ends up being Blake's house. I don't know, but you know it's going to be damn good. Should be a heck of an encounter, as will our main event, Yuya Yurimura taking on Buddy Matthews. Buddy making a, a great return to New Japan Strong in, in Hollywood. Yurimura just on top of his game, but he's missing that one signature victory. If he defeats Buddy Matthews here tonight, that takes him to the next level. You gotta think that's running through his head right now. Oh, it has to be, and I know Buddy Matthews very, very well. We go way back. He is not taking this lightly. He knows his opponents inside and out, so Yuamura has got a big challenge ahead of him. Well, let's waste no more time. Let's get to the action right here in St. Petersburg. Strong Style Evolve starts now. Opening match, 15 Ippon Shogu will Welcome everyone to the Strong Style Evolve Tour here, St. Petersburg, Florida. Ian Riccoboni, Matt Raywolf on the call here. And Matt, this man is no stranger to you or fans of Impact Wrestling or fans of New Japan Strong. That's right, John Schuyler, something of a journeyman in the sport of professional wrestling. Good old Carolina boy, and you know how they do it down there. And now he's got a tall task, welcoming him back to a new Japan Pro Wrestling ring. And you know what, the word journeyman sometimes in professional sports can be a pejorative, it can be something negative. He's really embraced it. He, he embraces the miles and the places he's been and I think he is on the cusp of, of breaking through into becoming a regular, not only in Impact, where he's competing in the X Division, but also here in New Japan Strong. All it takes is a couple of wins. All it takes is a little bit of a streak. But it's going to be tough to start a streak when you face a man of this caliber. There he is making his debut in a New Japan Pro Wrestling ring. Big Damo, somebody I go back years with. I've ridden the roads with this guy. I've shared houses. I've shared hotel rooms with this guy. There is nobody who both loves this business and has more intensity in that ring than the big man, Big Damo. Big Damo, of course, he's he, one of the hottest names, biggest resumes coming to New Japan Strong. Combination of power and agility. And he's got wins over the last couple of years. <laughs> wins in the past couple of years against Kushida, Matt Riddle, and Jonah. That's an impressive list <laughs> yeah. of people to hold a dub over. Kevin, Kevin, yes. It's our pleasure here to have both John Schuyler, Big Damo, and you, the viewer watching here tonight. So we're gonna kick things off.
Oh. oh I, I, I wouldn't do that. No, I, I admire the gumption. I, I admire oh. Skyler. Skyler's clearly been working out, clearly been in the gym. Oh. But he's in there with a guy that's probably outweighing him by a good 50, 60 pounds. Absolutely. Oh. And who's known for his ferocity, known for that speed and power combination. And that's something he would normally do to get out of the way, but Damo just following him out. Maybe Skyler trying to play a bit of a head game, get the monster ticked off to take advantage Ooh. later, like he's trying to do now. Wow! Whoa. Whoa! And maybe we underestimated John Skyler. I talked that. I never thought the term journeyman was pejorative. I understand where you're talking about, but I think he picks up something everywhere he goes. He learns. He gets better. Cover. And he's showing us that right now. Against a very game, Big Demo. Yeah, making his New Japan Strong debut, you, you got to think that Big Demo wants to leave here victorious. But wouldn't it be a feather in the cap for John Schuyler to start that streak, to start things rolling, to build on the success he's had an impact? And to spoil the story of a big debut, that would mean huge things for John Schuyler here. Shot to the midsection here. And it's Schuyler who goes from the clutch. Ooh! Using the head, leading with the head. Connecting in the sternum. Big knife edge chop, does almost Hard nothing. Hitting. But now he's just making Damo angry. Skyler, who the, the last time we saw him was New Japan Pro Wrestling, New Beginnings USA 2019. So it's been about two years since we've seen Skyler in a New Japan Pro Wrestling ring. Definitely wants to make a good impression this time around. But he's got a big, big opportunity and a big challenge in Damo here, who just seems to be getting more pissed off as yeah. this match goes on. Every time he hits him, that scowl grows a little deeper on the, the face of Damo. Oh! The Skyler keeps coming, finding openings where he can. Neckbreaker there. Look at John Skyler going for the lateral press. Damo kicking out about one and a half there. I like the intensity of Skyler not letting up. And he has he is in control of this match. And color me surprised. Because you would think the energy of, of making a debut, the adrenaline, but Skyler used that against Demo early and connected with the spear on the outside. It's been Skyler's match ever since. Got that psychological advantage. I mean, Demo is still very much in this. We've seen just how angry all this offense has gotten him. But if Skyler can keep this momentum up, boom! Big drop kick there from Skyler. And Skyler, I don't agree with this. I don't agree. Leave the crowd out of it. Get that tunnel vision. Well, as he said earlier, he doesn't care what you think. He doesn't care if you agree. But to be fair, fair I, point, don't turn your back on a guy like Big Damo. I'm starting to think maybe he does care. I'm starting to think that maybe he may have told a little white lie to us. I don't know. Just, just my opinion. Well, we're going to find out probably real soon if he goes to hook up the big man. Yeah, can't butterfly the arms quite like he wanted. And Damo oh. sends him down to the mat. Big back body drop. Full sign sends Skyler down. Building this momentum. The beast starts to roll. Charging in. Collapsing Skyler. Sending him into the corner. It's Damo. Woo. Oh, huge spine buster like slam followed up by an elbow. Hooks the leg, two. Just a two count there. Two count, but the beast from Belfast starts to roll. And we saw how angry he was when he was on the defense. Now that he is in firm control, we'll see just how much damage he can do. And look at Skyler fighting for his life, trying to lure him in again, and he does. I think he's using that pent up adrenaline based on the debut to catch him off guard as now Skyler goes up and over. He's trying to do that at every chance he gets. Oh! Oh! Slingshot spear from the apron. Two. Seen Skyler use that to great effect against a lot of opponents. Laredo Kid comes to mind. 100%. As we see Skyler remaining in control, that had to take something out of him though, that oh shoulder God. going straight into 300 plus pounds at Demo. But that strike, like a cannon, right into the ribs of Damo. Did a lot of damage to him as well. As Skyler now, maybe thinking high risk. Could be not a stranger to the top rope. And Damo oh, up like a shot. 
Playing possum there. Now second rope on the inside. Front face Whoa. lock. Oh, super fisherman suplex. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. Barely out the back door for Skyler. And can I just comment on the speed at which Damo did that? Most people, when they go for a superplex or maneuvers of that ilk, they take their time setting it up to make sure it's going to be effective. But Damo just leaped up there and threw him from the top rope. Very impressive from Damo here in his debut here on New Japan. Strong headbutt there. And Skyler. Oh! And normally that would take his opponent off his feet. Oh. Instead, he eats a cross body. Two and. Wow, just a two count there. You see the frustration a little bit starting to build in the head of Damo. And great as he goes to fire himself up. Resiliency shown by Skyler. Does he have enough? to get himself out of this predicament. He does for now. Oh. oh, look at the strength. Back and forth. Oh. Second rope on the inside, charging in, up and over. Skyler. Speed Stop. picking up here. Oh, big knee. Right upside the jaw of Damo. And Skyler off the ropes. Damo has him. Fireman's carry position. Oh. oh. Sit on. And now, what is the big man thinking here? Plants him. Huge Vader bomb. Two, three. And when you show up, you make a debut in a New Japan Pro Wrestling ring. That's the way you want to do it. What a flurry of offense at the end there from Big Demo, which leads to a win. Great effort from John Schuyler. A great game plan using the nerves, the adrenaline, the over-eagerness maybe to get Demo where he thought he had him. But Demo, too big, too smart, too strong. Big Damo, your winner here. And fans, what a night of action we have for you here tonight. Including a huge main event. Yuya Yuromura taking on Buddy Matthews. But coming up next, we will see Blake Christian go one-on-one -on -one against Swerve. And you don't want to miss it. Heck of a contest coming your way right here on New Japan Strong. We're back at you with our second contest of the night. A man who's made his name in GCW also has competed in New Japan Strong. Impact Wrestling as well, making a name for himself wherever he goes. High flying, high risk, fast pace, all heart. That's Blake Christian. You know, one of the real standouts of the earlier episodes of New Japan Strong, you can go back on New Japan World and watch those. Blake's journey took him all around the world. And he is back here in New Japan Strong. But I think we're going to find out tonight if this is Blake Christian's house or if it's this man's house. There he is. The confident one. The swagger of a thousand. And if you're digging this song as much as we are, you can go on to Spotify, to iTunes, and look up Swerve City. Latest album came out a couple of weeks ago, Tears, which I'm digging right now. You're a big hip hop guy, Ian? A little bit, you know, I. I, I, don't, I don't know anything. I'm sure, I'm I sure it's great. I like a little Roddy Rich. 
which which Swerve reminds me of. Okay. But I go way back to Big Daddy Kane. One of my favorite new artists, though, is this man right here who can get it done in the ring, too. Swerve, strongly influenced by Travis Scott as well. All the style, all the swagger, all the confidence of all those artists we just mentioned, but on top of that, has all the skill to get it done inside the squared circle. A once in a lifetime combination of talent and skill, charisma. There's just people you look at and, and you know they're cool. And there's people you wanna be. Like me. And there's people you know you'll right? never be like. Yourself, but, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yourself included. And you, you were the second one, man, right. knowing that you'll never be like that, right? I will I'm, never be I'm like that. just Swerve. making sure we get the, the dynamic I, down here. I firmly believe you can do <laughs> anything, but there, the, the, ten, the Malcolm Gladwell 10,000 hours of, of practice, I do think there's something that has to be innate. There's got to be something inside of you to get to the level of I what Swerve that. has done and Absolutely. what Blake Christian can do inside the squared circle. This is, a, in my mind, an even, evenly matched bout. As far as yeah, wrestling and athletic ability and, and high-flying talent, all, all those things that both wrestlers bring to the table, it seems very, very even keeled. However, it is, it is that confidence of Swerve. Has is a, that going to put him over the edge? Yeah, and he has a little bit more of an experience edge. Mm -hmm. So he's been to more places than Christian has. He's been at, at it a little oh, bit longer. And already got Christian tied up in a bad way, wrenching the shoulder back. And that arm trap. And look at that trap Whoa. pin, one. Blake Christian. Reeling back into the corner here. Now Swerve made his New Japan Strong debut, answered the USFJ Open Challenge back at Rivals. Now here on the Strong Style Evolve Tour, taking on Blake Christian. So glad he appears to be becoming a regular on the New Japan Strong program. And the more you see of someone like this, more star power it brings to to our program, to our brand here. Whoa! I mean, trapping from Christian, just a one count there. Christian, just a little, little bit. Let me let you know that I can go too. I can turn things around. I can grapple. And we're seeing Greco-Roman knuckle lock here. Swerve with a little bit of a height advantage, using that to power Christian down here. Obviously a feeling out process here. Went to stop the hams. Kick out of the feet by Blake Christian, who now grabs the side headlock back in control. Oh, and look at that. Hanging on as Swerve tries to, to move Christian. There you go. Gets the momentum going. Here's oh, the speed. Great misdirection by Christian. Charging in. Nobody home. Tries to Whoa. catch him. Almost gets him with a drop down. Great move by Swerve. Single leg from the outside. And nobody home for Swerve. Just the little ways. They do things that you've seen a million times, but they do them a little different. The way they move around the ring. That's the thing that's so incredible about both these athletes. Whoa. Whoa. C4 countered. And that's absolutely right. You know, it's so great to, to be able to see and call this match because we know they're, they're skilled technicians. They're great with counters, but to see them, wow! Whoa, 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 tried to push Christian off the apron there. Christian held on. What? Whoa! Ex <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, do I, do I want to attempt to break down what physically just happened there? I don't think it matters either way. Both athletes going to the absolute limit, ending up eye to eye once again. And, and you know, there are very practical purposes for what Blake Christian did. His quickest way out of the way to him was to moonsault off of the apron. Swerve attempted an offensive maneuver to Blake Christian on the apron. It resulted in something that looked beautiful, but all of it very practical in their pursuit to win the match. And proves their ability to think on their feet, to, think, to switch on a dime.
Fans divided here in St. Pete. Your chance of all heart as well of Swerve's house going back and forth. A testament to the ability of both. Shotgun style drop kick, Kip up back to his feet. And Swerve for the first time in this match, reeling a little bit. And Blake Christian staying on top of Swerve here, off the ropes. Inverted atomic drop, hanging on to him. Great move there, allows him to go right to the snap mare. Off the ropes, basement drop kick. And now, Blake Christian starting to build some much needed momentum, some very important momentum. Front face lock here. Snapmare takeover again. Body scissors. Simple but effective move here. Take away the oxygen of your opponent, you're going to find him much easier to subdue. Now the half Nelson making swerve, making swerve move and carry Christian with him. We're getting into a pinning predicament here. Yes, sir. Two. Swerve in the corner, trying to create some space, but it's Christian staying on top here. Goku Kika, five minutes have passed. Five minutes. Christian closing back in, picking his spots here. Swerve moves out of the way, though. Up and over. Christian knife edge chop. Oh! oh. What a five fingers say to the face, Blake. But Blake staying on top, looking for the wheelbarrow, countered Ooh. by Swerve. And he's got the man bun. Gnarly way to counter, but effective nonetheless. Wow, touchdown! down, looking for the leapfrog there. Trying to break the grip, fighting and clawing is Christian, wow. Slinking out of it is Swerve. Wow. Huge pump kick off the apron. And now it is Swerve who finds himself in control of both the pace and the match. One. Two. And the count administered on the outside here. Three. Blake Christian Four. in trouble here. But Swerve Five. taking his time. Sometimes, Matt, you, you use Six. those moments to get some breath for yourself. Absolutely. Level your opponent. Take a chance to get some oxygen, get your feet underneath you, and then you can keep your momentum firmly. Great cover, two. Firmly in your control. And again, that confidence to swerve returning, that, that swagger, that knowing that I control this ring now. When you control the ring, you control your opponent. When you control your opponent, this match could be all yours. Swerve sending Blake Christian into the corner. And again by the hair. Just whipping him pillar to post, visiting every corner of this ring. And Swerve, second rope on the inside. Whoa! Whoa. Like a trident to the spine, hooks the leg, deep cover. Just a two count there. I love the cover there. And I like the deliberate pacing of Swerve. It's not just confidence, but he's getting mileage in between oh. moves as he strategizes his next, his next move here. Grabbing him by the face there, nose, eyes. And just making Blake Christian uncomfortable. That's, that, that, that's something that people don't put enough value in. Just make your opponent uncomfortable. Get them up their mental game a little bit, too. Christian sending Swerve into the corner. Breaks the grip with the back elbow. Oh, wheelbarrow. Whoa. Catches him again. Wow! Stanley Frost flash. flash. Two. Catches him again. Standing moonsault. One, two. Christian. Oh. Great way to turn this one around just like that. That's how quick Blake Christian can do it. I know his nickname is All Heart, but I don't know. There's more than just heart in there. There's a brain, and there's an incredible wrestler as well. And this has really been a great back and forth contest at this point. Christian back in control for the first time in a, in a long time, though. Looking to stay on top, but Swerve, also a great technical wrestler, grabbing the wrist immediately. Ooh. Ooh. Bending it across his shoulder. Stepping. Great escape there by Christian, though. 
The thrust kicks connect. Right to the back. Oh. Breaks almost the full looking, Nelson, yeah. Like a, like a dragon or a full Nelson suplex almost there. And the footwork of both these athletes is coming out. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> Follows him in. Christian now off the ropes. Pump kick. And another. Ooh. Snap German. And Christian on a roll here. Boom, a lariat from Swerve. Spun him inside out. Oh, Ooh. Spanish slide. Hook the leg. Two and three. Oh, no. my oh. God. Just a two count there. Just a two count. I don't think you were the only one in the building who thought that was a three. What a Spanish fly in the wherewithal, the hook, the leg, the deep cover. Landed right on it. And such a smart move by Swerve to get out of the ring to oh. catch his breath. Whoa! Oh, Fosbury flop! But he lands on the floor. Oh! Drops oh. it with a reverse DDT right onto that wood floor. Oh, God, the sickening thud. What smart move. Throwing him right in the ring. Follow up big time. 450. Got it. Book the leg. Two and oh. How did how was Swerve continuing to kick out? That speaks to the conditioning you need to have. That base level conditioning to evil step into the ring in New Japan Strong. That's what Swerve brings to the table. We saw him on the offense. Can he recover from a defensive posture as Christian going to the top? Shows just how much a win in a New Japan ring means to professional wrestlers all around the world. They're willing to put everything, go to this limit. Great strategy again by Swerve to just simply get out of the way. Oh! And create space in an opening. That's right. Maybe bait your opponent in a little bit. Knock him upside their teeth. Swerve! Oh! Plants him down! Whoa. And another! Rolling through! Huge strike into the brain buster from Swerve! Now looking to follow up. Christian set up in the middle of the ring. Oh! Right to the back of the head. Hooks the leg. Two and three. What a big time victory for Swerve. We know he's celebrating the Alb of Tears. It was a smash runaway success. But now he can go home a winner here in New Japan Strong, building on the success in AEW. Man's got a lot of irons in the fire right now, Matt, and they're all cooking. This match was everything we thought it would be and more. The grappling, the high flying, the counter wrestling. But like I thought maybe at the beginning, I think it was the absolute confidence of Swerve that put him over the edge. He knows whose house this is. And now, St. Petersburg, Florida, they know whose house it is. Swerve's house here in the Coliseum. Big time victory, great effort from Blake Christian. But fans, still to come, it is our main event. Yuya Yuramura taking on Buddy Matthews.
All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one going? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, Papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. It's main event time here on the Strong Style Evolve Tour. And what a tour it's been. And a Windy City riot last week. We keep talking about it. If you haven't seen it, order the replay Fight TV. Oh, my God. An honor to be there in my hometown. But we are back in the Strong Style Evolve Tour here in our main event with Yuya Uemura who's continuing his excursion here in the U.S. And here's a guy who's not afraid to step up to the plate against big names. Okada, Shingo, Tanahashi, Zack Sabre Jr., Suzuki. And, and it's been a little bit of trial by fire, but he has stepped up to the plate now. He wants these big matches because he knows it is it will be sooner rather than later where he picks up a victory, where the, that experience, that muscle memory comes together. It's going to be a tough road ahead, though, tonight. Absolutely it is. As he faces off against a man that I know very well. I go back years with this competitor, and I've seen him just get better and better and better. Well, he shocked the world when he joined the House of Black on AEW. But there's been no shock here. The success he's had on New Japan Strong, coming off a big win against Ren Narita. And now going one-on-one -on -one with another young man on excursion, Buddy Matthews. Has been nothing short of phenomenal here in New Japan Strong. Well, the moment Buddy Matthews was unleashed upon the world. Everyone, myself included, was saying New Japan Pro Wrestling was an ideal spot for someone of his style, of his skill set. So it makes no shock. It is no shock to me how well he's done here. Oh, getting right in the face of Yuya. But Yuya didn't back down. That's oh. an interesting, he stepped to him, which many men would not do that. And I don't know if that's a lack of experience or that's fearlessness. At, from everything, you know what? I would, I would question it too, but everything I've seen Yuya do, I've had the chance to watch a lot of those matches that you mentioned earlier on. And it is, there's this bold, brash, brave side to you. He, you were right, he will fight and stand up to anyone. That's exactly what people like Shibata have taught him. Before we get too far into this match, next week our main event, Ren Narita versus Jay Lethal. Also, we'll see Mascara Dorada versus TJP and Kevin Knight versus the DKC. As we're seeing a collar and elbow tie-up go all across the ring here. Very intense collar and elbow. Oh, look at that. Forcing the clean break by Yuya. Referee Jeremy Marcus there to call it. And the intensity of the eyes of Buddy Matthews. Buddy Matthews, to me, is on a different level. The physique, the intensity, and this is going to be a, a tough bout for Yuya, but this is why you wrestle Buddy Matthews. It is to You want the best. Yeah, when you're this young in your career, you want the best. Lo losing it is fine. Like, in, <laughs> I feel even weird saying that as a professional wrestler myself, but if it teaches you, if it helps you grow, if it helps you evolve, that's what you need. 
Otherwise, you stand still, and nobody wants to stand still in this business. Oh, look at that, rolling through to the wrist lock here. And of course, in recent New Japan Strong competition, doing very well against Brody King. Lasted over 15 minutes with, with Brody King, who's also in the House of Black. Recent bout against Daniel Garcia on the Rivals Tour. Yuya's just, oh, look Whoa. at that. And, and each match, you see the counter stacking up. That defensive wrestling. You talk about that strength of power of Buddy Matthews, the strength of Yuya on display there. Wouldn't let the Aussie take him over. Oh, going to the wrist. Interesting way to exit the corner there. And yep. that's, that just comes down to veteran experience from Buddy Matthews. They had to do the break in the corner. He knew the hands would come free, and as soon as they did, he snatched. And look at that, the point of the knee and the shin on the shoulder, now just wrenching it. And, and now, oh, yeah. going for that small joint manipulation here, each individual finger. That's and something you would see a lot in the catch style over in Europe. That's just got to be frustrating, right? Oh, and, and can we talk about pain for Right, oh my God. on top of the pain, absolutely. You ever jammed a finger? How about, how about four of them at a time? And you see the wrist control here of Buddy Matthews. If you control the wrist, you can usually control your opponent. As you see there, all it takes, I remember when one of my trainers showed me that in the early, early days. You can lead someone's entire body around just by a single joint if you control it correctly. And here you go, back to the fingers, that arm oh. trapped. Oh, he's got the two in the middle now. You see the separation, oh. that little webbing at the bottom. Oh, oh look at this, going for a head scissor. Gets out of it via head scissor. Great maneuver there by Yuya, getting out of that situation, because man, you ever slam you ever slam your fingers in a door, Ooh, in a yeah. cabinet, how much that hurts? Well, try doing that and then having to fight somebody oh. for the next 10, 15 minutes. How about that? And the head scissor here, able to trap the oh. legs and break out. <laughs> and there are the eyes of Buddy Matthews. Ooh! And Yuya rolls him up, one. It's a one count there. Back to their feet, ducks the clothesline, waist lock here. Pace is picking up in this one. I knew it would at some point. It was just a matter of when. Standing switch there from Yuya. Now Buddy looking for a position, but it's Yuya sending Buddy into the corner, up and over, nobody home. And Yuya with a waist lock. Matthews fighting him off, though. And into the corner. Seems to feel at home. That is a, a point of control because he knows there's only really one direction Yuya can go from the corner with his back to the turnbuckle. Ooh, ooh strength from Yuamura there, putting Matthews to the apron. Back fist misses. Ooh. Connects up the ladder with the standing in Seguri. And Matthews now shaking his head there. First huge strike that Matthews has taken in this matchup. Oh, he tell me, oh, good. He's going to. They're coming right for us here, Matt. Oh, 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 no. Matthews clinging to that top rope for dear life. This is a bad situation. I don't and know if he's looking for a German suplex here or to throw Matthews to the floor. Ooh, whatever it is might take weeks, months, or even years off of Matthews and Yuya's career. Oh, and back to the joint, back to the fingers oh, there. Oh, and, and look at the way the, oh. the elbow's hyperextended as well. Oh, oh. God. The shoulder wrenched and rammed into the apron. Nasty move, but smart. Kogun kick up, five minutes set pass, five minutes. Yuya was, had a death One. grip around the waist of Matthews and was looking Two. to do some bad, bad things. Three. Matthews doing what, exactly what he needed to do, go back to a joint previously worked on. Lateral press, two. And Not now only he, that, you see the way he pushed his face into the mat. Nice double wrist lock here. And if he can get it behind the body, he is in deep trouble because that's when it's a, a Kimura, and that's when the elbow starts to go lateral left to right. Oh. And, and he's in big time trouble here as he alleviates some of the pressure and pain by getting back to a vertical base. And getting to the rope. Oh, but. Oh, and he's trying to fight out of it, Matt. Matt I, I don't blame him. He's got to be an incredible amount of pain. His arm has already been worked on in this matchup. Finally getting free. And corner to corner, oh. and meets his demise with a boot to that shoulder. Matthews now up the road for Yuya. Oh. Beautiful timing from Yuamura there, catching Matthews off the rope. And now maybe just has a moment to breathe here, get some feeling back in that arm, get the blood flowing again. 
And this is we're going to see, this is the moment where we will see the development at what stage Uemura is at. Will he go and stay on the offensive? Will he try and get the blood flow back? Instead, it's Buddy Matthews to his feet first. Oh, but Yuya, he strikes first on his feet. And could this be a situation? We've seen upsets from these young lines in the past. Certainly have. As Yuya, staggering but not down. Returning volley is Matthews. And combination here from Yuya Yurimura. Looking for the Irish whip. Nice. Fire is real. Ducks to the clothesline. Yurimura! Plants Matthews. Back elbow sends Matthews down, but he's back to his feet. He's staying on top of him here. Yurimura keeping the momentum going. Scoop and a big time slam on Buddy Matthews. Elbow drop. This is exactly what Yuya Yomura needs to do. Keep the foot on the gas. Hooking the leg. One, two. Two count there. He now has an idea of where Matthews is in this match, stamina wise. With that cover. And staying on top of him. He keeps going to the waist, maybe looking to wear down that lower back. The midsection, the ribs. You injure that, you make it hard to breathe, you make it hard to breathe, it's hard to fight. We know that for sure. Back elbows trying to get the grip broken. He does. Nice snap mare. And staying on top of him. Ooh! Ooh. Just unloading elbows now into the collarbone. Oh. You uh, see how quickly Matthews just turned it around and wrapped up Yuamura. Oh, Whoa. come on! <laughs> and immediately, the crowd here in St. Petersburg, they don't take too kind of that here in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Swing and a miss. It's Yuamura. The waist lock again. Matthews bringing out of it again with the wrist lock takeover. Oh! Whoa. Oh, he caught it! He caught it! Yuamura Great resilience it. from Yuamura there, catching the knee. He knew it was coming. Blocks the right. Great shots. Spinning kick. Stomp on the foot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, plants him in a bridge. Oh, but he's one, two. And was that second where Matthew's hand was under, under the rope, was that all the moment wow. he needed to kick out? If you roll the tape back, there were three consecutive seconds where Buddy Matthew's shoulders were down on a bridging German suplex. Hey, but rules are rules. That's why we have by, officials. By stroke of luck, Jeremy Marcus in perfect position to make the right call. The difficult call, but a right one nonetheless as Yuya going to the top. Matthew's following him up. Now both wrestlers in dangerous territory here. Fights Matthew's down. What is Yuya going to have to do to turn this match up around? Yuya, nobody home. Oh. Matthew's had enough time to recover. Oh, puts him down. Huge stop. Cover, one, two. Whoa. Oh. This is the Matthews I know, full of, full of vinegar. And here we go. And he wants to put him away. Setting him up, Murphy's Ooh. law. Hooks the leg, two, three. What a victory, another great effort from Yuya. And you know what, I, I gotta respect Matthews. I think he knew deep down Yuya might have kicked out. And I thought, we thought he might have been doing that out of arrogance, but the Murphy's Law might have been for safety there, Matt, to make sure he won the match. That, or to make a point, to put an exclamation point on the sentence instead of a period, to let you to let me, to let everybody know just who he is. What a night of action here. Strong style of all fans. Thank you so much for joining us. Next week, Renderita versus Jay Lethal. Mascara Dorada against TJP. And Kevin Knight versus DKC. For Matt Raywald, I'm Ian Riccoboni. Happy wrestling, everybody. Thanks for watching.